Picture this, the scorching Egyptian desert, 4500 years ago, the sun beats down on a land untouched by modern machines, yet, rising from the sand is a monument so massive so precise it seems impossible even today. This is the Great Pyramid of Giza, a riddle that has baffled explorers for centuries. How did ancient Egyptians without bulldozers or computers, build something that still boggles our minds? Get ready to be amazed because we're about to unlock the mysteries of how the ancients moved mountains to build the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramid wasn't built for fun, it had a purpose, a glorious tomb for the Pharaoh Khufu. Ancient Egyptians believed pharaohs were living gods, and their tombs were gateways to the stars. Khufu wanted his pyramid to be the greatest, a monument that would stand for eternity. But while Khufu's name is famous, thousands of skilled workers made his dream a reality. Contrary to popular belief, these weren't slaves, they were craftsmen, architects and laborers, driven by purpose, belief and pride. Their story, often overshadowed by the pharaoh's grandeur, is just as compelling. To the ancient Egyptians, death was a transition, not an end. The pyramid was Khufu's passport to eternity, a vessel to ensure his safe passage. Deep inside, hidden within a labyrinth of passages, lay the king's chamber. Here, Khufu's mummified body, surrounded by treasures, would rest. Preserving the body was essential for the pharaoh's spirit to reunite with it in the afterlife. The pyramid's sides were aligned with near-perfect precision to the cardinal directions. This alignment was believed to guide the pharaoh's soul toward the imperishable stars. The pyramid wasn't just about death, it was a statement of Khufu's reign and legacy. Its sheer size, 481 feet high was a declaration of power. It formed the centerpiece of a vast necropolis with smaller pyramids, mastabas and temples. This complex mirrored Egyptian society with the pharaoh at its apex. Building the pyramid required mobilizing a massive workforce and resources. The Egyptians achieved this without modern machinery, relying on ingenuity and manpower. The pyramid stood as a symbol of the pharaoh's ability to shape the world. Forget what you've seen in the movies, the Great Pyramid wasn't built by slaves. Hollywood loves drama, but the truth is more interesting. These were skilled workers who took pride in their craft. They lived in organized settlements near the pyramid, with bakeries, breweries, and medical facilities. These weren't the accommodations of an oppressed people. The idea of slave labor is a modern misconception. These workers were part of a complex society, fulfilling a duty to their pharaoh and gods. Their work came with rewards and recognition. What was it like to be a pyramid builder? Imagine waking up before dawn, sharing a simple breakfast of bread and beer. Then, it's off to the worksite. A symphony of clanging hammers and rhythmic chanting. The work was demanding, requiring strength, precision, and teamwork. You might be hauling massive blocks, carving hieroglyphs, or positioning stones with millimeter accuracy. There's camaraderie and a shared purpose. You're building a legacy. Life wasn't all work. Evenings and festivals brought relaxation and celebration. Workers shared stories, played games, and enjoyed performances. They found satisfaction in contributing to something extraordinary. Building a pyramid was a logistical marvel. Feeding and watering tens of thousands of workers daily in the desert required organization. Food, mainly bread and beer, was produced on a massive scale. Grain was shipped in, ground into flour and baked in huge ovens. Beer was brewed in vast quantities providing nutrients and hydration. Livestock and fish supplemented the diet with protein. Officials tracked supplies, ensuring a steady flow of food and water. The project's success depended on keeping the workforce fed and content. The Great Pyramid is made of an estimated 2.3 million stone blocks. Most of the limestone came from quarries right on the Giza Plateau. Workers carved out massive blocks using copper chisels, wooden wedges and dolerite hammers. This was dangerous, backbreaking work, requiring strength and precision but the workers took pride in providing the building blocks of a monument for the ages. Building the Great Pyramid didn't require advanced technology. The Egyptians used simple but effective tools relying on basic physics. Copper chisels shaped limestone hammered by thousands of hands. Stone hammers made of dolerite shaped and dressed the blocks. Using a harder stone to shape a softer one was key to efficiency. These simple tools combined with ingenuity and determination shaped millions of tons of stone. Their genius lay in their understanding of materials and teamwork.
Moving massive stone blocks was no easy feat. The Egyptians relied on brainpower, manpower, and leverage. Their secret weapon? Ramps and rollers. Massive earthen ramps provided a gradual incline for hauling blocks. Teams hauled stones up the ramps using ropes and wooden rollers to reduce friction. By working together, they conquered even the steepest inclines. The Great Pyramid is a meticulously assembled jigsaw puzzle of stone blocks. What holds it together? Mortar, a mixture of gypsum, sand, and water. The Egyptians were skilled chemists creating a super strong, durable mortar. They applied it in thin layers ensuring a tight, precise fit. Thin mortar joints allowed for minute adjustments and stability. Their understanding of material science has stood the test of time. Moving millions of tons of stone without trucks or trains was a challenge. The Nile River was the Egyptians' superhighway. Quarries were located near the Nile for easy transport. Blocks were loaded onto sturdy wooden barges designed for heavy cargo. Barges powered by sails and oars rode the Nile's currents to Giza. The Nile posed challenges but Egyptians were master navigators. They used ropes, levers and manpower to keep the stone flowing to the site. Once the stone arrived at Giza, it had to be moved from the riverbank to the pyramid. The Egyptians built causeways, raised roads of compacted earth and rubble. These provided a stable surface for transport. Workers used manpower, sleds and rollers to move the blocks. Teams hauled sleds with ropes, inching the massive stones forward. Wooden rollers beneath the sleds reduced friction. It was a slow, determined process requiring strength and coordination. With the stone blocks delivered the real challenge began, assembling the Great Pyramid. The Egyptians started with a perfectly level foundation. Layer by layer they stacked the blocks, each layer smaller than the one below. Ramps, levers, rollers and manpower lifted the blocks to new heights. Massive ramps sloped upward as the pyramid grew. It was a painstaking process, demanding coordination and a deep understanding of balance. The Great Pyramid isn't just a pile of rocks, it's a marvel of precision engineering. Every stone, every angle and every joint was carefully planned and executed, resulting in a monument that has stood for over 4,500 years. The sheer scale of the project is mind-boggling, but what's even more impressive is the level of accuracy the ancient Egyptians achieved with the tools and knowledge available to them at the time. The 2.3 million stone blocks are fitted together with astonishing accuracy, with gaps between them often no wider than a human hair. Some joints are so tight that even a piece of paper can't be slipped between the stones. This level of craftsmanship is rarely seen, even in modern construction, and it raises the question, how did they do it? So, how did the Egyptians achieve such precision without the aid of modern measuring tools or laser levels? They didn't have access to metal rulers, digital devices or advanced machinery, instead they relied on their ingenuity, experience and a deep understanding of the natural world. Well, they used a combination of simple but effective tools and techniques, passed down through generations of skilled craftsmen. These builders were highly trained, and their expertise was the result of years of apprenticeship and hands-on learning. The process was collaborative, with teams working together to ensure every block was perfectly placed. They used plumb bobs, which are weighted strings that hang perfectly vertical, to ensure the pyramid's sides were straight. This simple tool allowed them to check vertical alignment with remarkable accuracy, even on such a massive scale. They used A-frames, which are triangular structures with a plumb bob hanging from the apex, to check for right angles. By placing the A-frame on the stones, they could quickly determine if the corners were perfectly square, which was crucial for the pyramid's stability and symmetry. And they used a simple but ingenious tool called a leveling instrument, basically a long straight beam with a plumb bob suspended from its center, to ensure the blocks were placed at the same level. This helped them maintain a flat and even surface as they built each layer higher and higher. But perhaps the most important factor in their success was their deep understanding of geometry and astronomy. The Egyptians were masters of mathematics, using ropes knotted at regular intervals to measure distances and create perfect right angles. Their knowledge of geometry allowed them to plan the pyramid's layout with incredible precision. The Egyptians were keen observers of the stars, and they used their knowledge of the constellations and the Earth's rotation to align the pyramid's sides with the cardinal directions with remarkable accuracy. By watching the night sky and tracking the movement of certain stars, they could orient the pyramid almost perfectly north-south and east-west, a feat that still amazes scientists today. This not only gave the pyramid its symmetrical beauty, but also ensured its structural integrity. 
The result is a monument that has survived earthquakes, erosion, and the passage of millennia, a testament to the ingenuity, skill, and determination of the ancient Egyptians. The Great Pyramid wasn't just a technological marvel, it was a shining beacon of Egyptian belief, a monument that stood at the very heart of their culture and spirituality. Its presence on the Giza Plateau was a constant reminder of the mysteries of life, death, and the universe itself. The pyramid was a physical embodiment of their worldview, a structure that mirrored the Egyptians' understanding of the cosmos and their place within it. Its alignment with the cardinal points and the stars was no accident, it was a deliberate attempt to connect the earthly realm with the heavens above. It reflected their relationship with their rulers, their reverence for the divine, and their hopes for the afterlife. To stand before the pyramid was to stand before the very essence of ancient Egyptian civilization, to feel the weight of centuries of faith and tradition. The Egyptians saw the pyramid's shape as a representation of the slanting rays of the sun, a sacred form that linked the pharaoh to the sun god, Ra. The pyramid's smooth sides were designed to catch the sunlight, making it shine brilliantly and symbolizing the pharaoh's journey to join the gods. The interior chambers and passages were designed not just to house the pharaoh's remains, but to serve as a spiritual engine, guiding his soul through the complex journey of the afterlife. The shafts that pierced the pyramid's core were believed to be channels for the soul to ascend to the stars. Every element from the orientation of the passages to the placement of the chambers was carefully planned to ensure the pharaoh's safe passage through the underworld and his rebirth among the gods. The pyramid was, in many ways, a map of the afterlife itself. The walls were often inscribed with sacred texts and images, infusing every stone with religious significance. The pyramid also served as a powerful symbol of the pharaoh's authority, reinforcing his role as both a political and spiritual leader. Its sheer size and grandeur declared his status as a god-king, a ruler whose power was unmatched and whose legacy would endure for millennia. The pyramid's imposing presence was meant to awe both subjects and visitors alike, the resources and manpower required for its construction were a testament to his absolute power, as thousands of workers toiled for decades driven by faith and loyalty. The pyramid was not just a tomb, but a national project that united the people of Egypt. His ability to command the labor of thousands and reshape the very landscape according to his will was unparalleled. The construction itself became a symbol of the pharaoh's divine mandate and the unity of his people. The pyramid in essence was a monument to the pharaoh's divine right to rule, a timeless testament to the enduring power of faith, leadership, and the human spirit. The Great Pyramid of Giza wasn't just a product of its time, it cast a long shadow across history, inspiring awe and wonder in every generation that followed. From ancient travelers who marveled at its scale to modern tourists who flocked to its base, the pyramid has captivated imaginations for millennia. The Greeks and Romans, awestruck by its grandeur, included it in their lists of the seven wonders of the world. Medieval scholars, lacking a full understanding of its origins, attributed its construction to everyone from biblical figures to mythical giants. Even today the pyramid continues to spark debate and speculation, with theories about its purpose and construction ranging from the scientific to the fantastical, but the pyramid's legacy extends far beyond its status as a tourist attraction or a historical curiosity. It stands as a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the human spirit, a reminder that even with limited technology, humans are capable of achieving extraordinary things. The pyramid's enduring presence in our collective consciousness is a reminder that some creations are timeless, transcending cultural and temporal boundaries to inspire inspire and captivate us across the ages. We've journeyed back in time, explored the hows and whys of the Great Pyramid's construction, and glimpsed the beliefs of a civilization obsessed with eternity. We've walked in the footsteps of ancient builders, marveled at their achievements, and tried to imagine the world as they saw it, full of gods, mysteries, and the promise of an afterlife. The story of the Great Pyramid is not just about stone and sweat, but about the dreams and ambitions of an entire people, reaching across millennia to leave their mark on the world. But like any good adventure, our exploration leaves us with more questions than answers. Every discovery seems to open new doors, revealing layers of complexity and intrigue that challenge our understanding. The truth is, even with all we've learned the Great Pyramid still holds tight to many of its secrets. Its silent stones have witnessed the rise and fall of empires, yet they refuse to give up all their stories. How did the Egyptians achieve such astonishing precision in their alignments? 
the accuracy with which the pyramid is oriented to the cardinal points continues to baffle even modern engineers. Was it a feat of careful observation, advanced mathematics, or perhaps a combination of both? Were there detailed blueprints now lost to time that guided the placement of every block? Or did the builders rely on oral tradition, passed down through generations of master craftsmen? The absence of definitive records only deepens the mystery. What was the exact role of the internal shafts and chambers? Some believe they were designed for ventilation, others suggest they had spiritual significance perhaps serving as passageways for the pharaoh's soul to ascend to the heavens. Did they serve a practical purpose during construction, or were they purely symbolic? Could there be hidden rooms or undiscovered passages still waiting to be found within the pyramid's massive core? These questions and countless others continue to fascinate archaeologists, historians, and anyone who's ever gazed upon this ancient wonder. The Great Pyramid stands as a silent challenge daring us to unlock its secrets, but that's the beauty of the Great Pyramid. Its enduring mystery is part of its magic, drawing people from every corner of the globe to stand in its shadow and wonder. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a symbol of a lost civilization, and an enduring enigma that refuses to be fully understood. Each generation brings new questions, new technologies and new perspectives yet the pyramid remains as elusive as ever. It reminds us that the past is not a closed book, but rather a treasure chest filled with mysteries waiting to be unlocked. Every artifact unearthed, every inscription deciphered, brings us a little closer to the truth. Yet the full story remains just out of reach. As new technologies emerge and our understanding of the ancient world deepens, who knows what other secrets the Great Pyramid might reveal. Perhaps the next breakthrough is just around the corner, waiting for a curious mind to ask the right question. One thing is certain, the quest to unravel its mysteries will continue to inspire and intrigue us, ensuring that the allure of the Great Pyramid remains as timeless as the monument itself. As long as it stands, the Great Pyramid will invite us to dream, to question, and to seek answers among the sands of time.